so much for watching. I hope you guys like my new setup. This might be my ultimate setup. Dual monitors, dual computers. Both computers are 10th gen systems. Both computers have 32 gigs of RAM. Both computers have M.2 and SSDs built into them. And both of them have newer graphics cards. 5500 XT 8GB Nitro overclock, 1070 8GB Gaming X, and it's also overclocked. 107 700 in there, and then you have a 105 540 or 550 or whatever it is. It's a i5 10th gen, and then you have an i7 10th gen. Battlefield's up. All right. I have to go because I have to go to work here in a little bit so, and I just wanted to show you guys the new room. I hope y'all really liked it. I have been working forever on it. Alright, so I am currently performance testing. If you go to user benchmark, userbenchmark.com, you can do a free test and it will test your performance of your computer. So that's what I'm currently doing now. Um, I turned a bunch of stuff off. Uh, so it should just be running kind of like out of the box. So that's what I'm going for right now. I just want to see what out of the box kind of performance does. And then we will test the other computer. This one, I still haven't come up with a name for this computer yet. Y'all need to give me a name for this computer. What should we name this thing? I mean, it is so beautiful, I actually decided to keep it. I rebuilt it because I liked it so much. If you guys want to test your computer, I urge you to, to do it. Try it out. I even think you can test mark or benchmark your PlayStation. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to try to figure that out because I can go online with the PlayStation 4 and I could probably benchmark it. Now, you're probably wondering why am I not using OBS or any type of programming like that because I don't want it to, to slow down the computer. I don't want any programs running, just the bare minimum. All right, so it came up. Here's my results. I scored Nuclear Submarine. Um, I got 102 on desktop and I got Nuclear Submarine Workstation, so 90%. So that's really good. And then if you look here, none of this is yellow, red, or orange. It's all green, meaning that it's all performing exceptionally well, which is really good. If you're wondering what like nuclear submarine is, if you click here, see it shows you a list. UFO is the fastest, the highest you can go. Then it's nuclear submarine, aircraft carrier, battleship, battle cruiser, destroyer, gunboat, yacht, speedboat. I remember when my computers were jet ski and speedboat. And then I built um, a Ryzen computer and got it up to destroyer and battle cruiser. And now I'm up in the nuclear submarine category, which is really good. So you guys want to find out what the performance of your computer is? Well, you can do it right here. Real simple. Uh, let's go back. Let's see if it shows my score again. I mean, above exceptional. Very nice. My uh, Core i7 is, wow, doing real good. Got 101%. Outstanding on that. 84% on the graphics card. Got an excellent score. Uh, let's see here. My Look, my two M.2 drives are showing up there. Um, they scored 186%. Outstanding. That's good. Uh, then it shows our SSD that scored 86% excellent um, Our RAM So we have our RAM RAM scored 102% outstanding Well now what I need to do is performance test This computer which I don't have a name for this awesome looking machine yet, but uh, Yeah, let's performance test it So we are now testing the other machine and it is going through its paces now. So we'll just wait a couple more minutes and it will give us our results here. Hopefully they're decent results. So we are running everything bare minimum um, as you would get it out of the box. No overclocking, no nothing like that. So I just kind of want to see what my baselines were. Hopefully it does really well. Come on machine, 
Think we really need to come up with a name for this. Really need to come up with a name with it. Here we go. Okay, so on desktop it scored an 89, which is aircraft carrier. For gaming, it scored gunboat. And for a workstation, it scored yacht a 53. Um, let's see here. Looking at everything, everything is nice and green, so that's good. We don't have any components that are running behind or or causing a bottleneck. Um, let's see here. Our i5 400, it did great. It got an 85. Excellent. Uh, let's see here. Our 5500 XT graphics card got a 60% good. That's all right. I mean, it's not overclocked, so that makes sense. Um, here's our SSD. Our SSD is running very good. Okay, and then our RAM is an 83.5% excellent. And let's see, our highest was aircraft carrier, and then our lowest was yacht or gunboat. So, yacht. Yacht was our lowest at a 45% gunboat, and then we got all the way up to aircraft carrier. Top and workstation, then a gaming machine. You gotta remember, this isn't, I built this as an editing rig, not as a gaming machine. So, it makes sense that it scored low on gaming and really good on desktop and workstation so there you have it performance i want you guys to go and try it out yourself it's a lot of fun who knows maybe your score will beat mine try to beat my scores that'd be pretty cool and then put your scores below in the comments tell me what your score was give me your your gaming your desktop and your workstation that would be really cool can your computer beat mine check them out guys let's see here We'll find out. Make sure to leave a like below. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was kind of a quick video. Um, I'm actually editing some actual videos right now that I'll have up probably tomorrow. Um, but without that, I appreciate y'all. Thanks, man. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, you guys be cool.